Hey there, welcome to the channel. In this video, I want to show you how to build out custom GPTs using ChatGPT+. I finally recently upgraded to the paid plan. It's $20 per month, and I would say it's already totally worth it. Provides a lot more powerful features, including, but not limited to, building out custom GPTs. So it's very easy to create one of these, as you will see in this video and I'll show you how to build one out within minutes. I've already got four right here that I've created. This is a tax advisor, YouTube video summarizer, viral post idea generator, and a stock price analyzer. So these are just some examples that I came up with by asking ChatGPT popular niches for GPTs. And so let's say I want to find a viral post idea. I can simply come over here and select from any of the options up here. Let's say I want to find a trending concept for a fashion reel, for example. I can just simply ask it that and it will come up with the concept right here, quick and easy to the point. And uh, this saves time just going back and forth to ChatGPT. This is a, a GPT specifically made for this task. I can also analyze stock prices. So let's say I want to see Tesla's recent movement. It will pull up a graph for me within seconds. And as you can see, Tesla's currently down 11%, right? After hours, another 2%. And it goes into the analysis down here as well. Why it's down? I could do the same thing for NVIDIA. Give me the stock price for NVIDIA. And it will pull up the chart with an analysis. It's down almost 8% today. And you can also check the past month right there quickly and easily from within ChatGPT. So in this video, I just want to show you how to build one of these out for yourself. There's many different options to choose from. As you can see over here, these are some of the featured picks from the week. And then they have trending as well. And basically, you can create one of these for yourself with ChatGPT Plus and put it up on the GPT store. So pretty much all you have to do is, first of all, upgrade to the Plus plan. It's $20 per month, as I already mentioned. And then you're going to want to come over to Explore GPTs and click on Create at the top. So here we can create the GPT within minutes. Right? So I want to create another one that will create eBooks from scratch. So I can just tell it to create, create a GPT that generates an eBook with chapters and an outline with a few simple prompts, something along those lines, right? And then it will just create the GPT within a few seconds so it's updating it right now. You'll see how fast this is, it's super fast. And it's very easy to create these. I think it's pretty much unlimited, the number that you can create. And it already has created the GPT within 20 seconds. So here it is. This creates complete eBooks from outlines to chapters using simple prompts. Obviously, I can revise that des description if I want. And it's already suggested a title uh, as well. So chapter crafter. I don't really like that. I'm thinking change it to something better. Just say change the title to something better. And then it will create some suggestions. So here we are. Uh, Instabook creator, that kind of like that one. Book builder, story architect. Some of those are pretty good. And we can also come over to configure right here and just give it a name of our own. So I just want to create a, ebook builder, something like that. Uh, and then we can also generate a thumbnail using Dali. So we don't even have to create our own thumbnail. We can just use Dali to make it for us. Unfortunately, I don't really like the title, so I'm probably going to change it to something else. But let's see what it comes up with. Oh, that looks pretty good. So there's the icon. But I want to give it a better name. So I can come back over here and get more suggestions. As you can see, this is the thumbnail that it came up with, which I like quite a bit. Give it a compelling title. 
something along those lines. Prompt to published. I kind of like that. So we're just going to use the recommended title. We can fill out this description. Obviously, if you want to revise this, you can do so at any time. And then you've also got conversation starters here, which are over here. Turn this idea into an ebook outline. Write a chapter about overcoming fear. Uh, you can revise this as much as you want. And then it even says, you know, help me format my ebook for Kindle. Expand this outline into a full ebook, right? You can also upload files to give it a little bit more context and knowledge if you want to. And then you can turn on different capabilities as well. So web search, canvas, Dolly image generation. I don't necessarily need that, but I'll keep it turned on anyway. Why not? And that's pretty much all there is to it. So as you can see, very, very easy to build out one of these GPTs from scratch within minutes. And now all I have to do is clicked on create at the top. And I can either say only give me access to this or anyone with a link or on the GPT store. I obviously want to publish it on the GPT store so that people can actually find it, right? And now I can just select the category. This one would be writing and then click save. And it shouldn't have any issue publishing this. Just takes a few seconds and that's it. Your GPT is live. So now if we want to preview this GPT and test it out, we can do so from here. So if I want to say, um, expand this outline into a full ebook, for example, now I have to actually give it an outline. So I'm not going to do that right now, but if I come back over here to GPTs, you can see if I refresh this, I now have five GPTs within minutes, including the latest one that I've made here, right? So now if I want to create a complete ebook from scratch using this GPT, I can say, write an outline for an ebook about AI, just as an example, right? So now it's just going to create the entire outline for the book <laughs> within minutes going into the brief history of AI, how AI works, the many faces of AI, blah, 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 conclusion. And now I could just say, type a chapter for, let's say, type a chapter for each in the outline. Let's see if it could just create the entire book from scratch. So now it's creating the entire book. Very easy. Right, so it's creating a chapter, a very short chapter, albeit, for each chapter in the, the outline. Obviously, you would want to edit this, you would want to expand on it quite a bit, but this just shows what this new GPT can do. And I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out this particular GPT if you want to give it a try yourself. That's pretty much all there is to it. As you can see, it just created a short ebook from scratch. And now it says, I've written a full chapter for each section of your AI ebook and compiled it into a cohesive document. You can now review, edit, or expand any part you like. And then we can also create a PDF from it for Kindle or create a Kindle format ebook. All right? So let's see what it comes up with should be able to create a format that I could then download for Kindle. Looks like it's a little more complicated in this case to actually publish it on Amazon under KDP, but they also provide a tutorial here as well. So you can see exactly the steps required to create a KDP version of this ebook, but obviously it's not finished yet. It needs a lot more work. So, can we tell it to expand on each chapter? Let's see what it comes up with. So maybe it's actually going to expand on each chapter here. It looks like it's running and possibly expanding on the chapters, but not very much. Well, that's actually pretty cool. So it's actually expanding on that entire chapter here. And we can just continue doing this until we have a fully fledged ebook that is ready for publishing. 
So that's just an example, right? That's a GPT that I built out in literally five minutes using uh, ChatGPT Plus. And you can also review the GPT as well. That's for users that want to review it. And obviously I can edit it at any time as well. But that's pretty much all there is to it. It's very, very easy. You don't have to know how to code at all. All you have to do is issue a few prompts and you can create these GPTs for yourself. And obviously I would recommend looking through the store right here and seeing that, like what are the most popular GPTs. They've even got one for Canva. They've got a logo creator, uh, AI humanizer. They have GPTs that can make websites for you. So you can build out an entire website with a GPT. The only thing is, I don't know how to actually make money from the GPTs yet. I don't think they've built this in yet, but hopefully coming soon, you will actually be able to monetize these GPTs so that you can basically get paid based on how many uses it gets. I would imagine some of these, uh, this one has 33 million conversations. So that's, that's how many times people have used it. This one, Scholar GPT, GPT 16 million conversations. Uh, I've got one here for Monday. So I would imagine these are making some sort of money, but I really have no way of knowing one way or the other. Uh, but yeah, so I would recommend just getting started the sooner the better, especially if you have, if you have ChatGPT+. Plus. You can start creating these, and then eventually, at some point, you should be able to monetize them based on how many uses they have, right? So far, I'm just getting started. Looks like a few people are using them already. And basically, in this case, it's just, you know, build it and they will come. So again, I'll leave links in the description below where you can check out these GPTs. And uh, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Signing off.